Hi Mario. Hi, how are you? Fine, and you? Good. Well, actually, we wrote the album in uh, 2018 and 2019. We didn't write the music during the pandemic, or we didn't mix, uh, we didn't uh, record everything during the pandemic. It was really like uh, the album was ready to be dropped almost when the world shut down. Uh, we thought at first the world uh, will reopen uh, uh, during the fall 2020, but then we uh, we understood it, 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 it was dramatic and very complicated. So it's why we were, um, we pushed uh, then for one month and then three months and then six months. So it was a tough time for everyone, I think. Uh, as a band um, told the management and the record company that uh, it was time for us to drop the album because we, we couldn't wait longer. You know? We, we did record and mixed the previous album called Magma in the studio and uh, this one we did all the recording sessions but then for the mixing we, we, we did work in an, uh, another place with Andy Wallace who is a very famous mixer, is uh, our favorite forever. So we were able to collaborate with him uh, but it was not in civil court. Yeah, we always try to kill the routine a little bit. For each album, we, we love to collaborate with someone different. And it's also like a quest of the better sound we can get. Uh, we are never really satisfied. My brother and I will always instantly uh, thought about Andy Wallace because he's, he's part of our culture, you know, musical culture. We grew up listening to uh, Jeff Buckley, uh, Slayer, Rage Against the Machine, Slipknot, Sepultura. I would say mainly Sepultura because uh, the album Chaos AD uh, had a huge impact on my um, musical identity. So for me, uh, when I'm talking about a snare, for example, uh, the best snare uh, I, I ever um, listening is um, the one on Chaos AD from Sepultura. He, he listened to a few demos and he said, "Yeah, I'm on it. I want to do. I, I want to do it." So we were like uh, opening the champagne and like <laughs> so happy to be able uh, able to work with uh, Andy Wallace. And I would say that it was one of the most uh, easiest experience uh, we had working with a mixer uh, because it is really, really some someone who is really human and very uh, easy to work with very humble and um, in the same time so talented so uh, straightforward straight to the point not really I, i'm kind of um I'm <clears throat> you know the more i'm traveling the more we became uh, an uh, international band um the less i'm i'm picky with my drums i'm, I'm talking about the gear for example uh, when I started the band, I was the kind of drummer who uh, uh, can only play on this drum, this kind of snare. I had so many like um, uh, freaking details that were so important for me. But because we travel, we took planes. Sometimes I couldn't bring cymbals, uh, planes. I learned how to adapt myself to a, almost a classic kit. And it, it uh, in a way, it stay a little bit that way. So I'm I'm really uh, not um, complicated in terms of uh, uh, gear or adding some new stuff, but um, uh, but the artistic point of view and the creativity is the most important. I would say um, um, you can be very creative on a classic kit. So on this album, I just try my best to serve the songs. Uh, and I also add a bit of uh, technicity and uh, complexity in a few other songs, but... Uh, uh, my goal was just to find the, the right balance between uh, serving the music and being technical as well. But I would say Magma was a darker album because of the momentum we were living at this time and, and uh, the period was uh, complicated to write music at this time. So when I hear Magma, I feel it's, it's really like uh, very dark actually. 
Uh, Fortitude is really different. There is more color on it. Um, uh, When we did write the music, we felt like, um, actually, we felt great, great in our uh, baskets, you know, (laughs) Um, great in our uh, everyday life and uh, very uh, thankful for the success of the band. And uh, so we were uh, super exciting to go in the practice room and write this music. So you can feel this album is a, there is more light in it, um, more power, I would say. Uh, so, yeah, it's, it's more uplifting, I would say. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because um, <clears throat> I don't need to do covers for the band because something works so well uh, with the lyrics. Uh, because I'm not writing the lyrics, my brother do it. I, I think he's expressing something very important through the visual and the lyrics together. And, and um, I don't want to break this, you know. Don't want to. Um, we don't want to stop a formula when it's working so well. Uh, now for almost uh, ten years, every drum heads I used. Um, I did recycle it with the painting or the drawing. So uh, it's for me uh, something I'm doing now spontaneously. So I, I always keep all, all my drum heads. And I use a lot of them because when you play shows and you tour, uh, you want the best sound every show. So sometimes you change the drum heads every two shows, you know, for example. So it's a lot of drum heads actually. So it's why for me it's also important to recycle them uh, that way and it's also an excellent way for me to uh, express myself because I'm I'm not a kind of person who express a lot uh, with lyrics for example so uh, uh, I'm not I'm not talking so much you know in general so uh, the way I'm expressing my emotions through drawings are very precious for me I think On this album, for example, we are preparing something very important. So it's not uh, about words now, it's more about acting. So it's time maybe to act. So um, we are working precisely right now on something about the release of the song called Amazonia in a few days. It's a sharp charity. We found some key person who can help concretely these people, technically people who are living over there. So we we will try to uh, um, raise money for them. This kind of things, uh, I think we would love to uh, be more active, concrete actions, you know, instead of words only. Uh, but, but first of all, it's, it's still poetry, you know, it's art. It's not like uh, we are not politics, you know. So we try our best to uh, express our feelings and emotion. And uh, I think the action is also through the, the music, you know. Uh, it's it's really a um, not famous one. Um, the brand was a um, shock. <laughs> shock. I don't know if that exists anymore, you know. I don't think so, but uh, it was a very small kit uh, we bought here in, um, in Biarritz. My mother bought it for me and um, she was so supportive. And uh, uh, yeah, it was probably uh, one of the key moments of my life, one of the most uh, important um, period of my life. The um, when I fell in love with drumming, you know, it uh, it guided uh, my path, you know, <laughs> at some point. Thank you very much for all those answers. So yeah, time's up, unfortunately. Okay, thank you, Nicole. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.